Hey, let me show you how you can improve battery life on the Samsung Galaxy A26 5G. So first of all, let's start from opening settings and now you'll have to navigate into security and the privacy. Go to more privacy settings. And right now you will have to turn off uh, this one. Don't send diagnostic data. Click on this switcher. Basically, it's gonna stop the background data collection. And next you will have to scroll down for usage and diagnostics and also turn it off. Now go back to the main settings page and open location. Go to the location services, scroll here and be sure that you turn off Wi-Fi scanning and the Bluetooth scanning. The same for the location. So if you are not navigating right now, if you are not using Google Maps, just simply be sure that you turn it off. Next, we have to check if we don't have some kind of the suspicion apps or malware on the phone. So to do this, also start from the settings, go into device care, should be available somewhere here. Now go into app protection and click to scan the phone and wait for the final result. When you are in the device care, you should also take a look for the software update because Samsung often fixes the battery issues through the updates. So be sure that you are running the latest software. Now we'll have to go back from this one and we have to scroll up and open battery settings. Right here, we'll have to actually check for some apps that are running in the background. And we can simply do this by going into the background usage limits. And right here, you can simply manually put some apps into the slip mode. So first of all, be sure that you turn on this one to put unused apps to the sleep mode, but also we can put apps to the deep sleep mode. So click here and now select every application that you don't really need to use. Right now we'll go into the accessibility settings because we are gonna remove some animations to save power from our UI effects. So we have to start by going into the accessibility settings. They are located right here. Then you have to go into the vision and right now I'll scroll down and click on the switcher to reduce animations. Now you will have to go back into the main screen and open display settings. Right here it's highly recommended to turn on the dark mode. In this video I'm gonna use the light one because everything is more visible. And also be sure that you are controlling the brightness of your display. So if you don't need to get 100% or for example go over that maximum brightness. So basically try to lower this brightness it's taking a lot of your battery. Then go to the motion smoothness and be sure that you are using 60 Hertz and also be sure that you control the screen timeout. So you'll basically prevent the screen from staying on too long. I recommend you to go for 15 or 13 seconds. And now it will be also pretty useful if you turn off all unused features because these features continue draining power in the background. The features like, for example, edge panel, that you can find in the display settings. Also, be sure about the hotspot, the mobile hotspot. If you are connected into the Wi-Fi, then you can simply turn off mobile data. If you are outside and you are using mobile data, then you can simply turn off Wi-Fi. Be sure that you are not using flashlight. And now just go for the sounds and vibration, scroll down, move to the system vibration, and be sure that you turn off vibrations for the things that you are not using. And it actually looks the same for the system sounds, like for example, the tap sound, the unlink keypad, charging or screen unlock. Next, I can highly recommend you to open home screen settings. Then you will have to go into add media page to the home screen. And if you are not using the Google news screen that is available on your home screen, just simply switch this off with this switcher. And also what is pretty useful, then you should actually remove all apps that you are not using because they are sometimes connecting into the Wi-Fi, into the location, and taking a lot from your battery. So basically find applications that you are not using, click and hold with your finger and select uninstall one by one for every application. Next, it's always recommended to go for accounts and backup, go to manage accounts and switch off the automatic sync data. So it's not gonna synch synchronize some apps like for example, the calendar, Gmail and stuff like this. Next, you will have to open connections go into more connection settings and simply turn off the Nairobi device scanning, then go to the printing and switch off the default print service. Also remember to switch off the Bluetooth when you are not connected with some speaker or headphones. And additionally, you can enable the power saving mode because right here we can find the feature that you actually cannot turn on manually in the phone. So what I mean, right here, you can limit the CPU speed to 70%. 
And what it does, basically it will save a lot of battery of your phone. And that's all tips for this device.